production of Sela Broadcasting Network. Buenos dias, Sela family. I'm Mrs. Buchanan. Whoop! I, I'm not even sure how this is happening. How do I keep having this magic portal where I can see you guys? Sure am enjoying it though. Hi, Zadia and Bradley and Jade. Hey, Brian. Hey, Johanna and Gael. Hey there, Manuel and Hector and Ian. Oh, Jasmine. Hi. Hi, Natalia. Hi, Maylin and Ava. Hey, Jaden and Jacob. Hi, Hasna. Hi, Nala. Oh, it's great seeing you guys. You all just made my day. Today is Friday, January 15th, 2021. Happy early birthday, Miss Ferrer. Her birthday is tomorrow, January 16th. We hope that you have a wonderful day filled with laughter and love. Today is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. And Monday we celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Martin Luther King Jr. was one of history's greatest speakers and social activists. He was a voice for the civil rights movement, used nonviolent resistance to overcome injustice. It was his life's mission to bring compassion, fairness, and racial equality to all. When Martin said sooner or later, all the people of the world will have to discover a way to live together, he meant if we didn't get along, then the world would not be how it should be. If white people didn't treat black people right, there would be no such thing as peace. Martin Luther King Jr. won the Nobel Peace Prize. The chairman of the Nobel Peace Prize praised him as the first person in the Western world to have shown us that a struggle can be waged without violence. He is the first to make the message of brotherly love a reality in the course of his struggle, and he has brought this message to all men, to all nations, and races. When Martin said everyone can be great, he meant it does not matter where people come from or what they look like. Anyone can grow up to change the world like Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King Jr. said, the time is always right to do what is right. The time is always right to do what is right. That's an important piece of advice from a brilliant man whose wisdom lives on. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, and worship to you for justice for all. The weather forecast today is rainy with a high of 51 and a low of 30. <laughs> That's some chilly, chilly weather. Ooh, in the morning, especially since it's going to rain. Don't forget to sign up for CMS Seats at Home. Check out our Facebook page or Class Dojo for information. Or you can check out the web address shown on the screen. St staff, keep sending videos in. Our students love seeing you outside of the classroom. k Cecila is up next. Hi, I'm Ms. Brown. I teach second grade. Growing up in Alabama, I didn't celebrate any holidays. But there was nothing I loved more than the coming of winter solstice. Winter solstice actually occurred last year on December the 21st. When winter solstice arrives, I love to pull out my favorite book, The Snowman by Raymond Briggs. This book is about a boy who has a wonderful adventure with the snowman that he builds. They do lots of fun things together, and then he goes to bed. To find out what happens, pick up The Snowman by Raymond Briggs. Also, you may want to take a moment to watch the animated movie about it. It's beautiful music and no words will make you feel very relaxed. Lila Grace, thank you so much for showing us how to make a miniature book. Their dog wanted to know how to make one too. Or was he your helper? He sure was cute. I can't wait to make a book and write and draw in it. I can't, I, I've got, oh man, my head is like full of stories. I can't wait. 
keep sending your videos in to Mr. Perez at the address shown on the screen. Now for a Sela Junior moment. Estoy en clase, señora Cuervo, y estoy aprendiendo a hacer vivos y no vivos. Hacer vivos es nacen, crecen y mueren. Y que no son ser vivos, no, no nacen, no crecen y no mueren. Y esta es mi planta, echamos agua y luz y, y, y aire. ¿Y ella es un ser vivo o no vivo? Sí, ser vivo. Es un ser vivo. Y, y esta es mi, mi gallina y, y, y es un ser vivo y, y, y come y, y, y luz y, 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 y nace y muere. Y este es mi motor shock, pero no es ser, no es ser vivo, no come, no, 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 no. No muere y, y adiós. Riddle, riddle, riddle time, riddle time, riddle time. Twenty people jump into an empty pool filled with water and nothing else. After they jumped in, twenty-four heads came back up. How is this possible? Listen to it again. Twenty people jump into an empty pool filled with water and nothing else. After they jumped in, 24 heads came back up. How is this possible? I said it a little slower that time. The answer is in the riddle. Did you hear it? Let me do it again. A little bit slower. Listen. It's a play on words. You're going to have to listen. Got those listening ears on? 20 people jump into an empty pool filled with water and nothing else. After they jumped in, 24 heads came back up. How is this possible? Yell out the answer if you got it. I know you got it. I heard that. You're right. 24 heads. Your forehead. It was still 20 people. 24 heads came back up. Not 24 heads. 24 heads came back up. Ah, that, was just, that was just tricky, wasn't it? Oh, it fooled ya. Ah, sometimes you gotta listen really close to those riddles. Answers often in the riddle. Today's riddle. Who is a strange one who lives in the sea? He has eight arms, but no legs. Who is it? Who is the strange one who lives in the sea? He has eight arms but no legs. Who is he? I already heard some people calling out the answer. You guys are so smart. I thought that one was going to stump you for sure. You're already getting it. Ah, but we'll have to wait until next week to find out the answer. Although a lot of you already know the answer. So, let's give a hair raising howl for our one and only Alpha Wolf. Good morning, Wolf Pack. Happy Friday. It's good to be back. Happy New Year. I hadn't seen any of you um, since before break. I hope everybody had a wonderful break. So today I'm going to introduce something that we're going to start doing new. It's called Alpha Wolf of the Week. And your teachers will be picking um, students in K through second grade, third through fifth grade, and sixth through eighth grade. And we'll be announcing um, one from each of those sections each week that earns the distinction of Alpha Wolf of the Week. And that's um, a student that is exemplifying our Alpha Wolf behavior and um, is really showing those character traits that our counselors um, love to share with us. So this week's Middle School Alpha Wolf of the Week is Crystal Martinez Mateo. Congratulations, Crystal. Ms. White shares with me that you do a great job participating in class, you ask and answer questions, and you encourage others to do the same. And that's wonderful to hear. Thank you, Crystal, for being an exemplary alpha wolf. 
Um, so now I want to talk a little bit about um, what I'm sure everybody knows that we won't be back until February 15th. We, um, we won't be back to school in person. But I do want to remind you all that it's really important that you understand that even remote is still school and it's still important for you to attend every day all of your live sessions, complete your assignments and turn them in and do your asynchronous work as well. It's very important that you do so. Um, I really am I'm disappointed that I won't see you guys, but I also understand that you have to keep safe. And so I want to remind you to practice social distancing and keep your masks on. And we will be seeing you online. I hope everybody starts showing their faces and at least I can hear their voices um, over Zoom or Google Meets. Have a great weekend. And congratulations again, Crystal. Remember, there's no school Monday in honor of Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Enjoy your long weekend. See you Tuesday. Bye.